my people what do eh? this video I decided to do an analysis on it because there's something that I do here that I feel like peach players should be doing a lot more it'll make things easier it will get you a lot of damage and you don't have to play a lot of guessing games okay so let me just show you what I'm talking about we're gonna go into it with me as peach versus piranha plant Three, two, one, right. go. now this match uh, piranha plant I try to stay close to him as much as I can uh, his aerials they're not the greatest his nair can be okay if you're close but his other aerials are not that fast like I feel like his frame data isn't isn't the best in the air and the ground I don't think his frame data is that good either like a lot of things can snuff so if you pressure him well there really isn't much that he can do so right now I'm just again just trying to stay close Ooh, that was an ugly fan. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I waited. Try to Z-drop on top of him, but he hugged the stage. I think we try to Z-drop on turn. When you try to Z-drop a turn on somebody on stages like this, if they hug the stage, they can um they can avoid it. So I feel like I have to go down there a bit personal. Or I might have to go down there and either nair or bear. Z drop and then bear. So if I Z drop, they um they'll hug the stage and then I can get a free bear off of them. See look, I just thought of a situation. I'm gonna start doing this from now on. Okay. So here's one thing. When you hit somebody, they always wanna jump. Or in that case, do that. People they have a like a majority of people that I play, they have a bad habit of always jumping. Like watch, if I hit him here, he's probably gonna jump. Is he? No, he didn't just that. Okay. Alright, but in this stock, you're about to see why this video I chose that's important. It's something that Peace should be doing. And it it would it will change your life. It, it will literally change your life. Okay, so okay, see? Right there. You hit somebody in this case, this guy here. He always wants to jump. Nearly every time he's always jumping. So what you do, get a turn up, toss in the air, like that. See, I trapped him. Get another one, boom. See how he jumps? People jump because they're afraid. I think I covered this in a video, maybe like a month back. But when you go near somebody, they always panic to a jump. People do this because they fight opponents that they see them jumping, they let them get away with it. They don't adapt and try to bait it out. Luckily, we play a character that can can shut that down and just trap him. So every time you hit somebody, you're at this range, get a turn up and toss it upward. Why? See that? He's afraid of getting hit. And I think I had a fair setup for him too, for me to uh, try to hit him. But the angle that I'm doing this fair is not the greatest. I don't know way how I'm going to hit him. See, he's a trap. Doesn't want to get hit with that. So, so that's the air dodge. And then I noticed that I wasn't close enough to get a punish by the time he lands. So in this situation, people usually panic and they want to reset neutral. So I anticipated that he would roll. So I chased his roll to a dash attack and I hit him. Jump again, see? See how that, that turn up is like, the turn up just covers the air. All right, there's no need for you to go up there and try to up air somebody or hit them because they have a jump option. The only time you try to go for something like that is if they don't have a jump. The only thing you will have to guess is either an attack or an, a directional air dodge. But even then, that time is still good to like, um, toss turnips that way because you don't have to play guessing games. You're on the ground. What comes up must come down, right? So even if they don't have a jump and you toss the turnip upwards, if they attack, 
the turnip covers you. If they air dodge, you follow their air dodge. Whether they just air dodge in place or they do a directional air dodge, which is more laggy, you have enough time to um to, to punish them. Now, even though it didn't happen here, I'll just give you like a quick scenario. If Petey Piranha, well, I don't know why I keep saying Petey Piranha, I keep getting it mixed up. But if Piranha Plant, right? Let's say I went for this setup and he directional air dodged towards this platform. Let's say he did it in a way where if I saw it and I tried to up air him, I wouldn't hit him, right? I wouldn't catch him in time. In a case like that, you could up B. Alright? So if somebody does something on the platform where your up air won't catch them in time, you can literally just up B. The up B is um, it, it's faster. Uh, your vertical height, it, it's faster. Okay? So, okay, back to the match. So we're gonna... See? He, he air dodged it. Try to avoid it. And I did the nair. All right, I did a nair right here. So the nair, it's, um, I think it's like, what, seven frames of landing like, something like that. So I'll definitely have enough time to catch him, especially from the air dodge. Oh, actually, I caught him out the air dodge. I didn't realize that. Okay, so yeah, I um, forgot, nair is good at um, snuffing out air dodges. That's why I use nair more than up bear or bear in certain situations, because the opponent air dodge, um, the nair is out for a while. So yeah, I nared him into a dash attack. Throw a turnip up in there again. Again, he wants to keep jumping. See, because that's insurance. If they go up in the air, they have to deal with that turnip. If they come down, they got to deal with me. He doesn't want to deal with me. He wants to get away from me. That's why he keeps jumping. That's what that turnip is for. And you see, it's trapping him. So I'm not gonna pause the video anymore. We're just gonna keep playing because by now you should already know what what what's going on. But this is what people need to start doing. A lot more. Use a turn up, don't chase. Just do that. Because if they start respecting the turn up and they stop jumping, guess what? They're gonna be near the ledge. They're literally gonna be near the ledge. Okay? And that's what you want. Keep him in the left, so that way you hit him with something strong, and then you get him out. Yeast. Alright, see right here, I'm taking my time. In that situation, when people come back down, they love swinging. Uh, peace players, they, they love to like throw out a fair or something. Don't, don't swing like this. You see how I recover, I, I really don't attack. I just go for the ledge. I don't attack. Start it again. There you go. See, I use, I toss the turnip up in the air to try to force him to go back. And he did, cause he's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with that turnip anymore. It's leading to traps. Cause every time I did that, he would try to air dodge the turnip or he got hit. So he said, like, you know what? I'm going to pull back. So he pulled back, and I was ready for it. I'm like, yo, if he tries to avoid this shit, he, he, he gonna kiss my ass. And that's exactly what happened. He kissed my ass, and that's it, he done. He kissed booty, and I send him back, and that's it. He go back to, I don't know, Mrs. Piranha Plant, and something, I don't know, I don't freaking know anymore. But, yeah, point of video, if you hit somebody in the air, and you have enough time to get a turn up, toss the turn up in the air, do not jump, and try to go for up air, especially if they got uh, a second jump, because people, they will burn, they see you chasing them, and they're going to jump, so I, I see this so many times, nearly everyone that I play, they, they always want to freaking double jump, so just do that, because they're either going to get hit, they're going to, um, what you call it? they're going to get hit, they're going to try to air dodge, or just gonna try to attack and get hit. In this situation, the best thing that the opponent could possibly do if they want to keep trying to land on top of me is they could try to Z-grab the turn up, which you can. They could Z-grab it. The thing is, you Z-grab the turn up, you have an item in your hand. Right? 
and you can't land with any arrow. You can touch turn down and stuff, but it's like, okay, whatever. And then, I don't know, double jump again, and probably Z drop the turn up. And then, if people want to panic to uh, an air attack, they could pretty much do that. But either way, what comes up must come down, right? And especially if they're high in the air, you can toss like two turn ups and then just have it, you know, harass your opponent. They might deep grab the first one, but the second one is like, you know. And stuff like that is it, it, situational, but that's, that's what people should be doing. This is what I want to see people do from now on. If you have an opportunity, don't chase. Toss turn ups in the air. The only time you chase is if they don't have a second jump and they have to come down. And you know how they're gonna land, then yeah, up air or up B there at kill percent. Or if you're confident, you know exactly what your opponent's gonna do because prior to the to the match, you know, you've been in the match for like a minute or two, and you kinda got the feel of how your opponent tries to land. Then you're like, you know, I'm an educated guess, I'm just going, I'm gonna just hit him. I mean, that's it, I'm gonna just hit him, that's it. It's, it's over. Alright? The only time. But other than that, especially when you find somebody new for the first time, take turn up, toss it in the air. You don't have to go up there. You're covering the you're covering two options at once. You're covering the air, that's what the turn up is for. In the ground, that's what you are for. You gotta work in conjunction when you turn up in those situations. You you get so much damage, people can't freaking land. Especially on platforms. People can't land. People not gonna land versus you. In platform, you can stay under the platform and freaking do that. People can't land on top of you. Unless they're like, I don't know, maybe Yoshi or Bowser that can just down beat through the freaking platform. But you expect that, just move out the way. I act like, like, oh yeah, I don't know that you can down beat through the freaking platform. I'm gonna stand under here and I'm safe. You can't down beat through that. No, you do, dude. You do know that. And if you don't, you know now. So just act like, oh yeah, you're safe on the platform and then just move. And then they're gonna down B through the platform and boom, they're left open, all right? I wanna see people do this. If y'all don't do this, I'm, I'm gonna be very upset. I, I'm gonna be very upset and I'm just gonna, uh, um, I don't know, send uh, an angry smiley face in, as an email. Cause you made me sad. All right, anyway, so yeah, that that's it for the video. Uh, hopefully it was educational. Hopefully you liked it. If it wasn't education, educational, you didn't like it. I'm sorry, I tried. But if you did, yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all my veteran subscribers, and as well as my new subscribers that I got through my recent set of videos. All you guys together, are freaking savages. And I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.